Hi, I'm Jason, and I'm Bruce Wayne's fellow Jailmate son. Uh, with me is Marky. I'm coming over. Hey, give me some time. I'm in slow motion. I'm, I was celebrating my victory over you too hard. All right, we're doing our number two favorite Spoiler color. alert. Number two means poop. All right, so our number two villain. Uh, do you want to go first, or would you like me to go first? That's just whoa, or, whoa, whoa! whoa so that's phone. when the phone call go first. Wow, phone phone, call. Phone's number one. Okay. <laughs> Why don't you go first? Since right. you're always going number first. All right. It, it feels first? comfortable. You're number first. Uh, who's that? Hey, oh, do your okay. video. All right. So uh, my number two. Oh, someone dialed the wrong number. Okay. Uh, my number two is Plutonium. Plutonium from Irredeemable. You must really like him to get his oh. name wrong. No, he's like awesome. Like, he's. Plutonium like the element? Yeah. Basically, he's from Boom Comics. It's on issue, what, 17, I think, came out today? Yeah. Or yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Um, yeah. He's technically Wednesday, but yeah. GPS yeah. delay. Yeah. So he's basically Superman gone bad. Like he started off as a superhero and then he became bad. And like he was dating this one girl and like she was about to say like who she was dating, like she was all excited and like he freaked out. like it just Ah, uh, I love him. He's like that's how I wish Superman was. I want Superman like bad. Like taking out everybody and the whole plan is just like, well, we can't stop him. He sunk like Tokyo or some place. He's just like pushed back into the ocean. I mean, he's awesome. Like, I don't like his name. Like, that's kind of stupid. But, like, he kills like everyone and get, check it out. Ir irredeemable. Is from uh, Boom. I bought the issues one through twelve, limited five hundred. Right? Was yeah, the it? negative. Yeah, I got five hundred or limited to five hundred set of one through twelve. I have a limited to five hundred of a lot of kitty magazines. Yeah, but mine costs like a shitload of money. Like I'm. Mine are worth a shitload. They didn't cost much. Oh, mine costs a shitload. But I know he's worth it because like. He's Superman gone evil, and it's so awesome. Like, and uh, the free comic book uh, day that we had last July. Sure, where we where, August, where we where we May, May. where we drove no, around, June. we got free comic books from all the stores around, which is only two. Yeah, you could get <laughs> irredeemable, incorporable together. Like, oh, we, we should have gone to Reno for those. Fuck, we should have flown to California. <laughs> it's not like you had. So, work that day. Yeah, as I was saying, my I was unemployed. My number two favorite comic book villain is Plutonium. Uh, Boom Comics, Irredeemable is where he's the main feature. He's also pops up every once in a while in Corporable. He's a newer villain, year and a half, basically. Yeah, you can't go wrong. He's you'll laugh, you'll cry, you'll be like, wow, he's an asshole. So that's my number two villain. He's unstoppable. He, he kicks ass. Like yeah, he's like the Superman of it's awesome. Like I want Superman to be like that. Whoever came up with that, I can't remember his name because I don't have the comic book in front of me. Really idea. Although I do like Incorporable Bear than Irredeemable, but for the villain, Plutonium Marky, who's your number two? Or do we have to even guess? Hey, let Wait a moment before you say it. Let the fans guess what you're going to see there. Yes, and tell me. Hurry. This hasn't posted yet. It's it, a spoiler alert. It's like Dora. You're going to tell me. It's like Dora the Explorer. I lost my bra. Hold on. I need to bend down and look silly. I think it's spoiler. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Well, okay, my, my number time? two is probably the most hardcore villain you've ever heard of. It's Kite Man. <laughs> what? I'm totally kidding. Oh. It's Crazy Quilt. Crazy. No, no, no. Seriously. My, my number two villain, he, he can make a pencil disappear. Would you like me to show you? 
No. Alright, it's the Joker, in case nobody oh. got the reference. Oh, oh, then we know his number one will be then. I thought his so, number one was his number two. So, um, I, I'm going with... I, I've been trying to uh, slowly work my way up the evil list of my top five villains. That's, that's why I started with Magneto, and then, you know, I've worked my way up. And Sinestro, I felt his... You know, he's that mid-level evil guy, but he's a badass, so he makes number three. You know, you know, and Joker's more evil. He's not as badass, but he, but he's more evil. So I'm moving him all the way up to number two. And, and you guys, you, you guys wait for the number one because I, I know everybody except for Gnarly's gonna be like, what? and Gnarly's gonna be like, yeah, he's right. That's the most evil dude in the universe. But anyhow, um, back to what I was saying what about this. No, he's not evil. He's he's he just does what he Nothing. does. He, yeah. He's a lion, and we're we're the fucking elk yeah. or whatever. I don't know what lions eat. Yeah, antelope. antelope. Zebra. Yeah, we're zebras. Okay. He, he's a lion. He eats us. It, that's not evil. That's just nature. Um, so back to what I was saying. Joker's fucking evil. He's demented. He's crazy. And he's really smart. So it's like he, he's crazy, but he knows what he's doing when he does it. So is he so smart he's crazy? Like, is he a savant? Uh, um, he might be a savant of evil. Hey. All, all, his, all his brain power might be focused on being fucking insanely evil. The dude is, I mean, I, he's Batman's villain. Is he I mean, I, I, I couldn't tell you. The dude's too smart. He knows he's a fucking comic book character. That's pretty cool. I mean, that that's impressive when you're like, oh, by the way, I can do whatever I want because I'm but, a fucking comic wait, book wait, character. But he doesn't know who Bruce Wayne is. I, I still don't think he knows uh, who I Batman is. I think he is. might know. I, I, but I, I don't. Hey, this is one of those words. ones where I kind of want uh, the, the viewers to let us know what you think, or if you have the book, you know, like Batman and Robin issue ten or something that you can prove to me that he knows, because as far as I know, he does not know. Wasn't he in Wayne's Banner during uh, R.I.P.? Yeah. No. Yeah. No. It wasn't Wayne's Banner? They were in the asylum. Oh, well, I, you Arkham guys are interrupting my fucking review. That, I so, I want you guys to let me know if you can prove it. I don't want you to go, oh, I think. No, I want you to prove it to me because I'm a fucking skeptic. Alright? Except for with aliens. They're real. The Riddler knows who he is. The Riddler does know. It's everybody like knows. It's like How everybody knows except know. for the Joker, which is the one villain you would expect to know. Or maybe he just doesn't want to know. Or maybe he just doesn't go announcing it to people. Or he's like Commissioner Gordon. You, you know guys, Commissioner this is not but... my review. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do another one if you guys don't stop. All right, back to the Joker. He's so touchy silly. He, he, he's... he's he, <laughs> I'm trying to do a review here. All right, review. Review on the Joker being fucking number two for Mark. You know, I, I there was a lot of guys I could have picked, but I picked him because... As far as I'm concerned, he's the second most evil, and I know we don't <coughs> have a set standard for villains, but I, I'm kind of running up the evil and badass scale. You know, some of my villains, like I was saying earlier, might be a little bit more powerful, but I don't think they would do some of the things that the Joker would do to win. And so with that, his will to just do whatever it takes to do whatever it is he wants to do which we have no idea what it is he wants to do because he's the Joker and he's fucking nuts. So he's he's number two. Oh, he's he is poop. Card. He is poop. He's number two. He's number two. He, he's totally yeah. He's a wild card. It, it, I mean, come on, wild card. Phil, you know, funny and Philadelphia fans. Come on, I'm wild, a wild card. card. No, you. The Joker's a wild card, my no, man. No, a, you a, can't beat the Joker. The Joker and what started? Charlie. I'm Charlie. You're the looks. I'm the looks. You heard him. Where's the muscle? <laughs> I'll be the muscle too. Oh no, then I feel like I'm kind of fucked. You can be the brains. So, <laughs> so, you really are fucked. So, oh, you're saying I'm Charlie and the fat guy. Danny DeVito's the fat guy now instead of the short yeah. guy? Or no, he's, yeah, he's the brains, wasn't he? I thought he started his muscle. I can't think he moved the brains. I don't know. Okay, so... So basically, that's it. I picked the Joker. Um, I just don't think you can go wrong with the Joker. He's been around forever as a villain. 
forever, and he does what he wants. Sometimes he's funny, sometimes he's mean. Sometimes he's both. And um, he kills a lot of people. Kills people, and a lot of the DC villains are kind of wimpy on killing people. They're getting up there now, though. They're, they're catching up to Marvel and crushing down on the killing. Um, so I'm done. I got nothing left. All right. That was our villains.